as I walked forth one morning by one place that pleased me, wherein I heard a wandering white says, Christopher White is good company. I drew me near and very near till I was as near as near could be. Loath I was a counsel to discreet because I wanted company. Say on, say on, thou welfare maid, why makest thou moan so heavily? Says all is for one wandering white is banished forth of his own country. I am the Burgess of Edinburgh, so am I more of towns three. I have money and gold in great store, come sweet wench and light thy love on me. The merchant pulled forth a bag of gold, which had hundreds, two or three. Says every day throughout the week, I'll count as much down on thy knee. O oh, merchant, take thy gold again, a good living it will purchase thee. For if I be false to Christopher White, merchant, I can't be true to thee. Says I have halls, so have I bowers. Says I have ships sailing on the sea. I am the Burgess of Edinburgh. Come, sweet wench, light thy love on me. Come on, come on, thou welfare maid. Of our matters let us go through. For tomorrow I will marry thee, and thy dwelling shall be in Edinburgh. Lady, she took this gold in her hand, the tears fell fast from her eye. Says silver and gold makes my heart to turn and makes me leave good company. They had not been married, not over months, two or three. But tidings came to Edinburgh that all the merchants must to the sea. Then as this lady sat in a desk, she made a love letter full round. She made a letter to Christopher White, and in it she put a hundred pounds. She lined the letter with gold so red, and many good store in it was found. She sent it to Christopher White, that was so far in the Scottish crown. She bade him then frankly spend, and look that he should merry be. And bid him come to Edinburgh, now all the merchants be to the sea. But Christopher came to London town, and there he kneeled lowly down. And there he begged his pardon then of our noble king that wore the crown. But when he came to his true love's house, which was made both of lime and stone, she took him by the lily white hand, says, True love, you are welcome home. Welcome, my honey, welcome, my joy, welcome, my true love, home to me. For thou art he that will lengthen my days, and I know thou art good company. Christopher, I am a merchant's wife. Christopher, the more shall be your gain. Silver and gold, you shall have enough of the merchant's gold that is in Spain. But if you be a merchant's wife, something too much you are to blame. I will thee read a love letter, shall stir thy stumps, thou noble dame. Although I be a merchant's wife, his riches yours and mine shall be. We will pack up both silver and plate, and into little England I'll go with thee. They packed up both silver and plate, silver and gold in great plenty. And they be gone into little England, and the merchant must them never see. And when the merchants they came home, their wives can to each other say, Here hath been good Christopher White, and 
he hath taken thy wife away. They have packed up spoon and plate, silver and gold in great plenty. And they be gone into little England, and them again thou must never see. I care not for my silver and gold, nor for my plate in great plenty. But I mourn for that likesome lady that Christopher White hath taken from me. But one thing I must needs confess, this lady she did say to me. If she were false to Christopher White, she could never be true to me. All young men, a warning take, a warning look you take by me. Look that you love your old loves best, for in faith they are best company.